from Southwest Detroit, deep within the internet's waste depository, it's the Saggy Show! So I had to get my fingerprints took in the other day to uh for my entry into Canada and whatnot. And I didn't know they're gonna send me like um the actual fucking readout in the mail of my crime record and shit. But they did. <laughs> um I didn't look at look at it when they emailed it the other day because I had no reason to. I know what I've done, you know what I'm saying? And uh Clay text me, he was like, God damn man, you're a fucking criminal. And I was just like, haha, lol. But I'm like, holy shit, now check this out. This is from the FBI, by the way. So here goes all the, uh, I don't know, this is all just like my uh, stats, I guess you could say, tattoos or whatnot, and what you can use this shit for and this and that, you know what I'm saying? So turns out I've got five full pages of crime records. Look at that. Don't. Uh, that's a lot of shit. I want some kind of award. That's what I want. That's a lot. You can play fucking Uno with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of shit. I don't know why I felt I'd share that with you, but that's that's the kind of fucking pain in the ass it is. If you're watching Canada, I have to fucking belittle myself to get into your country and pull all this up. Let's get into a clear the cash. So, $50 MC Hammer Storage Boy. I seen this, and I was like, holy fuck, no way. Somebody fucking at those storage auction things, not on the TV one, not Storage Wars with, yep, that guy and all that shit, but at a real one, you know what I'm saying? Somebody paid $50 for a, a storage unit that, you know, had expired or whatever the fuck. They opened it, and it was fucking MC Hammer shit. Wow. Google that shit. Let's Google it. I'm starting to get less excited about it because it's starting to work now. I know. Look at this shit. Looks good. I don't know. Looks like a bunch of clothes. We paid 50 bucks for the unit. Um, and I'm told this unit belonged to MC Hammer. Before or after? I don't know if it's true or not. There's a lot of nice items in here. That was nice. That was fake fur. Um, but that's just what we were told. We're not sure. You know, bust out some hammer pants. Hammer. Is from MC Hammer. All these clothes in here. That's all his stuff. All his stuff at the bottom here. Hold up the hammer pants. Look at the bottom. Look at fucking hammer. what? All of them. It's fucking mini reels. Look at that hammer pants. Them look like the ones from You Can't Touch This. Look at that shit. Yeah. Wow. Look at this fucking newscaster. He's a robot. Be unreleased death row music from MC Hammer. See? Unreleased. And even Snoop Dogg. But the guys who bought the storage unit still aren't 100% convinced. <laughs> and those are the red pants. So Definitely hammer pants. And the pictures, it just looked like a bunch of clothes laying in the back of the unit. We buy them all the time. I'll talk about the call later. Pick it up for five, make you 100, 200. He looks like one of those assholes. Where's his earlobes? That's scary. Does he look like one of those eBayers? He looks like an asshole. Yeah. Over what are believed to be 30 master tapes labeled Death Row Records, MC Hammer, G Man, and Snoop Dogg. But the buyers are still not totally convinced they're legit. Until I actually hear from MC Hammer himself. Bugs? I don't believe it, you know, people claim, claiming to be managers, but all we have is the documentation. Why would you have it all, like, listed like, like that? Like, him, so obviously something's going on to where especially there. old school reels like that? Them. Yeah, they, they definitely they are they those fucking the storage the guys. Look at them. From Death Row Records, the music label who MC Hammer was signed to. That's going through a lot of shit right there if that wasn't real. Just for what? You know what I mean? For what? Stevens and Cordova believe what they have could be worth millions. A massive opportunity from a unit they paid thirty dollars for. Well, now here goes the thing, though. Even if they got the fucking reels, the actual physical reels, they still don't own this. You know what I'm saying? They don't own the fucking publishing for it. Or yeah, something they like can't that. release it. Right. Well, they can. They can fucking Bump it sell it up. back. You know what I'm saying? You can't remix shit and all that unless you got the original, but especially tape, unless they bounce that over to digital. 
You know what I mean? That's fucking insane, though. Where was that at? In Tracy. California? Or? I'm guessing. <laughs> yep. Why, you about to go out there and see if there's another one? Yeah. <laughs> see if you can find uh, Vanilla Isis. Yeah. He was MC Hammer's equivalent back in the day. This is true. Or I could hit him up and ask him if he could just give you a souvenir. Speaking of souvenirs, before we carry on, I almost forgot. Ha! When Justin went to fucking Hel Hogan's hangout. Look at that. The fucking gowan again. The fucking muscle arm. See I'm going with it? <laughs> <laughs> this is going up here next to fucking the old school Hogan mugs way up there. That's where it's going. So, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know where I came across this at. And I don't know why it made me fucking laugh so hard. Squeeze the cheese for blowing ass, for farting. People used to call it squeeze the cheese. I never heard that. You never heard somebody say who squeezed the cheese? No. It's I usually see I cut, cut the cheese. cheese. You never heard squeeze the cheese? No, it's I cut. Heard squeeze I, there's also cut the cheese. That's not funny. Squeeze the cheese is. That Come on, somebody had my fucking back. Squeeze the cheese was a thing. I remember saying it when I was a kid. Maybe if it was like a loud squeaky one, like... You know, that's squeezing the cheese. <laughs> well, nonetheless, I think squeezing the cheese is better than cutting it. <laughs> well. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> All right. I don't know. See, it may, everybody got a nice kick out of squeezing the cheese. Someone said they heard it before. Thank you. Fuck. They're lying. It's old school as fuck, man. I'm trying to make you feel good. <laughs> well, good. It worked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. Largest ice kingdom in the world. Ice kingdom? Are you guys familiar with this? No. No. It's fucking phenomenal. I saw pictures of it. Holy fuck. It's like in like Norway or some shit in the wintertime they make it. Or like Greenland or some shit like that. Let's Google it. Ah! See? It was like, you will get excited again. <laughs> there it is. There it fucking is. It's in Siberia. That's why. Look at this shit. Look how insane this is. Look, it's all made out of ice. Wow. Every sit besides the lights, it's all made out of fucking ice. That's crazy. Yeah, look at this shit, man. You kidding me? How old is that? It never gets warm there. <laughs> look at that. What the fuck? Who wants to fist fight me? What the fuck, man? Look at that shit. It's not the greatest quality of video, but. That's the greatest quality of ice. Look, they even got horses driving around carrying people. This is during the day. Look at this shit. During the daytime. It's crazy looking. Look, there's a bridge in the back. What can you, what can you do there? Are there like- You can fucking hang out in ice structures, is what you can do. Ice roller. You can hold hands with your significant other. Look at they got mazes. Oh, I do an ice maze. They got fireworks. Ice fireworks. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it's made out of ice. The fireworks are. It's ice crystals. That's sick. Yeah. You can walk around by yourself with a yellow bag. Oh, cool. I might do that. Look, you can watch a fucking movie. Okay. Wow. You can watch Frozen. That's what that was. They're doing Mortal Kombat up there. Now. Look at that shit. They're, you can play Mortal Kombat while the fireworks are going off. I'll fly to Siberia just to see that. I probably never will, but... It'd be kind of cool to think about. Look at that Mortal Kombat thing floating up there. <laughs> had nothing to do with that. <laughs> all right, that's enough. You get the gist. What? Look at all those fucking snowmen. They're gonna come to life and murder you. Woo! Um, so I watched this, right? And it's very uncomfortable to watch. I don't really understand what's going on. But you know, um, the comedian, he's Adam Sandler's honey, Nick Stewardson or whatever the fuck his name is. That he used to be on Reno 911. He was the gay roller skating guy and all that. But anyhow, he was uh doing a special, like a stand-up. He was he was on tour or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Playing a theater. And I'm not sure where it was at, but like nobody sold his jokes and he was just kind of stand there. Then the lights went on and the promoter just came and just pulled him off stage. Is there a video of that? Yes, there is. Yeah. That's yeah, I heard I looked it up. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Let's Google it. Ah! Work. Then I get excited again. It's just enough to fucking get me geeked. No, I'm I'm saying like it was oh my god. I was like, is this fucking show gonna work at all? No. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy is a sleeper. It was the best. 
Is he even up there telling jokes? What is this? So much. It's like embarrassing. Yeah, good God. You just hear people talking, getting up and leaving. The Vikings do suck. suck. Thank you very much. (laughs) How weird! Saying right now. I'll say this. Let me just let me ask you this. He almost got comedian mode doing all this, but then he stops. What? Okay, I'll tell you a joke. He said, okay, I'll tell you a joke. All right, here we go. So one of my favorite things, I don't have kids. I don't have kids. Anybody here have kids? Anybody here have kids? (laughs) It's so bad, like, it's embarrassing, no? Best friends was a guy named Norm MacDonald. Do you know who he is? He's one of my favorite people. Let's go! Let's kick the lights out. Great ball! Great ball! Let's go! Who here knows who Norm MacDonald is? Let's go! I mean, they turned it. Yeah. And turned off the spotlight. What the fuck is happening? Crazy. What? I was wondering what the fuck is happening that you're just sitting here in silence watching this. Trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. I mean, I didn't know we were watching this comedy show. I thought we were it's watching. Not a comedy show. I thought we were watching the Shaggy show. Oh, we're watching it? That's crazy. I'm really. You're gonna hurt later. Look at this fucking guy just <laughs> get up and say, come on, get off of here. Get out of here. How fucking strange. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's oh, so. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this guy? He's the promoter. Hi. Good evening. My name's Justin. I'm the director of operations. Um, We're jealous. It's me. We've decided to conclude the show early uh, in the best interest of those who bought tickets. We apologize for uh, what you've seen tonight. Please email the box office. Uh, we'll be uh, responding to inquiries and processing credits and refunds. <laughs> you don't need to no more. You can turn it off. Maybe he had a moment that isn't his first show that he did, right? He's been a stand up for years. I understand. So he was, something's going on. Yeah. Something weird, huh? I'm about to kick your fucking camera. No, he, he Why? About it. Why would you do that? I apologize. I have did he say what was wrong? Edibles and altitude. Something about edibles and altitude. He was more fucked up than he wanted to be. Ah, okay. Well, thank you for clearing that up. Why are you looking like that, Manny? Is you more fucked up than you'd like to be? Manny's never more fucked up than he'd like to be. He'd like to be fucked up even more. That was clear the cash. Okay, so a little something I stumbled across and looks kind of interesting. You may remember cheese racing and pancake racing. There's also German ice football. <laughs> what? You guys are here. I was on Twitter earlier. This is stupid. There we go. Well, wow. I think this is supposed to be silly, no? What do you think? It's like those South Park dudes made that basketball movie. Yeah, kind of like the long hit, right. Stupid rules. Yeah. I mean, you can't run fast. He's not even skating. They're (laughs) running. Do they have skates on or no? No. Okay, that's why they're not doing it. Wait, this is soccer on ice. This is like what Europeans call football. Yeah. Because the other one was American football, but played by Germans on ice. Justin, why aren't you translating for this? Yeah, you took German in high school, no? say penis or something. Penis? Well, how do you say penis in German? Penis? He said, kick this penis. So I got that. Those two forms of German football on ice. American style... And the real style, normal style, both equally stupid. Okay, there's one more sport I'd like to check out. It's called ski jorking. <laughs> uh huh. It's rodeo mixed with skiing. 
<laughs> this has got a picture of the horse's ass. It basically, it's not rodeo. You're just skiing behind a horse. How much do I have to pay you to do it, Manny? See it, not enough. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, Manny? You know how big the horse would have to be. <laughs> It'd be one of those big Clydesdale boys that carry the Budweiser wagon. And then you get to the finish line. You hope your skier is still there, and then you do your best. Oh, she drives a horse. Talk about the rest, like. This is stupid. Cool. We're, we're, we're running in all kinds of fucking awesome sports that aren't awesome at all. You know what? Since we're having on the Google today, I want to Google something else right quick. Okay. I've been wanting to talk about this for quite some time. There's this, well, I don't know how old she is now, but this little Ukrainian bitch, she actually got raised by fucking wolves and wild dogs, and she ran like a fucking dog on her arms and legs. And fucking barked and all that shit. And it took her years and years and years to fucking snap out of it. You know what I'm saying? She thought she was a fucking dog. She said age three, she was she adopted the savage traits of animals. Oh, I got it, dude. Don't you worry. Yeah, this is I remember seeing this back in the day and being like, Yeah, that's that's her. Crazy haircut and all. That's her. First, this looks like some kind of strange hoax. Ukrainian girl. I've seen this on TikTok a couple running, times, jumping, but I think people are doing it on purpose. Just like a dog. <laughs> but this is not what the cruel. fuck? Oksana's behavior is the result of the most cruel childhood neglect. Neglect that began when she was three. She must have the most callous knees in America or in Ukraine. Had too many kids. We didn't have enough beds. So I crawled to the dog and started living with her. Her the parents fuck? were alcoholics. Oh, yeah, I one bet. night, too drunk to care, the they dogs? left their infant daughter outside in the cold. Looking for warmth, Oksana crawled into the farm kennel, mm. curling up with the mongrel dogs, probably saved her life. What does that mean, mongrel dogs? Yeah, why are they I would they mongrel talk to dogs? them. They would bark, and I would repeat it. That was our way of communication. You know, you could talk to him. For the next six years, <laughs> from the age of three to eight, the kennel was Oxana. Five wife, fucking years! The dogs, her family. She had very little human you know contact, you. and when finally discovered, it was obvious there'd been catastrophic consequences. You think she likes to get banged Oxana doggy style? She was more like a dog than a human child. She used to show a tongue when she saw She's water. like four, 40 now. She She's 40? Or something. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, I haven't seen that in a long time, and that's yeah. just scary. Girl raised by dogs is now 40 years old. There's gotta be, oh, how about images? Let's see what the fuck she looks like now. Oh, is that her with the long hair now? <laughs> She's reenacting it. It is! Here, blow that up! The children raised by wolves. They were mongrel dogs. Well, let's see what we have here. You gotta zoom that in way more. Try now. Oh, there it is. Okay, the undo button's on the top. This That's well. right. Dog. <laughs> Dog bitch. <laughs> there it is. We got five days to see you again. Woo! <laughs>